All right, guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Mercedes A-Class facelift 2023. And this is the last update that they will do to the A-Class before they changed completely the car. So I'm really looking forward to see what kind of version will come in place of this A-Class, probably an electric version, but that we'll see. And today I have with me the most powerful version, the A45S MG4 Matic. It's just a fabulous car. And in my point of view, it's one of the most sportier, comfortable, high class, quality car that you can get in this class it, together with bmw mercedes makes some fabulous car and i tell you guys i drive the car before i sit in the car i try to check it out a little bit and the changes are small but the quality it's incredible good and in this video we will make the full review interior exterior i will try to show you every single uh, feature every single details i will try to show you the space the material quality the multimedia system everything in this video you will find out about the car so it will be a full review like, like always but if you want to see the car on the road i will have of course the test drive if you want to see it check out on the channel probably the video is on the channel if it's not on the channel click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out anyway let me give you some technical data and then we will start the review right here i have all the technical data and the price and by the way if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out thwilly.ch i will leave the link in the description so if you want to buy the car test drive the car see the car check them out they are super super cool also the price the basis price of this a45 smg a class formatic plus it start at 88,000 francs. This is the basic starting price. But if you add all these options that this car come with, because I have kind of a full option right here and you will see as we go in the video, you have the AMG line premium plus 3,600 francs. We have the pack AMG night 800. We have like metallic color. We have 19 inch AMG rims right here that they cost around 2000 francs and we have also this traffic assistant we have also apple carplay android auto that you have to pay extra like 347 amg rear performance sound you have to pay 520 amg leather package 1330 so a lot of package a lot of extra that you have to pay for them they are not coming standard with the car and the price of the car will go up to 100,000 francs for a car for an a class i mean for a car in this class ooh, it's a lot of money but here at tehash willy you have an 11,125 francs discount already on the car and the car is brand new and the final price will be 89,500 francs i will add the price in dollars and also in euros to make an idea of course the price is big but keep in mind this is the top range of the a class this is maximum that you can get you know like you can push it all the way through and also in terms of uh, engine and power it's it's the top of the top because it comes with a two liter petrol engine four cylinders in line 421 horsepower it's incredible fast and you will see it in the test drive as well i will give you in the second also more technical data as i said it's an all-wheel drive 421 horsepower the estimated consumption 9.2 liters not only that the price is like an suv but also the consumption it's like an suv so what can you expect from an incredible sporty car 208 co2 grams emission it's in g class efficient class here in switzerland now let me go a little bit deeper in details let me tell you that the maximum speed of the car 270 km per hour 0 to 100 in 3.9 seconds 421 horsepower 500 newton meters two liter four cylinders in line as i told you before it comes all this power come connected with an eight speed automatic transmission dct amg speed shift now the boot space capacity 370 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1210 liters the fuel tank capacity 51 liters also the turning circle 11.54 meters the ground clearance of the car 97 
millimeters so around nine centimeters the car come with independent mcpherson suspension on the front independent multi-link suspension on the rear ventilated brake disc on the front and ventilated brake disc on the rear and 19 inch rims as i show you before that comes optional right here with the amg package and i will show you when we go outside the car looks just fabulous in terms of looking in terms of quality materials I have nothing to say. I mean, Mercedes is Mercedes. They make fabulous, fabulous cars. So those are the information. Now let's start the review, exterior, interior, and in the end, we will make the conclusion as always. This is the key. And you can see on the front side, we have the AMG logo right here. And we have two buttons, one for locking and one for unlocking. It's very simple, even though the car come with uh, those buttons right here that you can lock and unlock the car you can also use it as keyless entry so you don't have to worry always to press the key you have to have the key with you and you can put your finger here the car will lock and unlock simple by uh, having your hands here it has a sensor that allow you to unlock the car very simple and clean now let me turn on the lights and let's talk a little bit about the exterior design i just turned on the engine and also the lights so you can hear a little bit also the engine how it's uh, running on the cold but to be honest the exterior design from the previous version it doesn't have many changes but the changes that they make they are they are very subtle and the changes make the car much more sporty much more modern i should say and i will go into detail and, I, and we will go in a second close to every single detail that they change and i will try to explain you but in general if you are not a well knower of the a class or of the cars you will not be able to find the difference between this new facelift a class and the previous version but for me for example that i know both of the cars i have to say that the car look much much better and the elements that they they come with uh, make the car stand out a little bit more and also they bring a little bit of looking from the bigger brothers from the e-class from the even from the uh, glc or gla uh, it has a little bit of look for example in the tail lights it looks a little bit like the e-class you know if you look uh, from this angle you will see that look at this it looks a little bit like an e-class so it make it much more i don't know business much more premium looking from my point of view and i like it i like those changes also the front end the front of the car it's much more sleek much more lower so it looks much more like, like an e-class like a c-class um, it looks really good and also we have new headlights i will talk about that in a second where we go uh, close there of course we have this amg grill that looks just fabulous and everything every single detail on this car is just is just crazy nice i don't know i really like it this is the the top end of this car that you can get it and also those 19 inch rims in black matte look crazy you will see in the second also the brakes lovely car everything blackout four exhaust pipes on the rear of course they are not completely real but i will show you in a second they, they look really nice what do you think about the exterior from my point of view i think it, it looks it looks very nice up here we have a glass roof i will show you when we go inside here we have the spoiler in the back and it's for the first time when i see a design like that in a spoiler it's really interesting the way they design it here on the side we have some black glossy and then up here we have this spoiler roof spoiler and then you can see it comes a little bit higher usually you see this spoiler in this area or on a sedan but this time on this a-class hatchback they put it up here so you can see it's kind of a separate part here that also helped the aerodynamic of the car help the downforce while you speed up and drive at high speed and it's also look really interesting it's like a hat here in the back really really cool really sporty and yeah really interesting now here we have the brake lights led light tinted windows on the rear tinted windows on the side quite nice and also let me go 
here on the side you can see a little bit better around the windows we have the glossy black plastic this is the trend these days also between the windows we have glossy plastic very nice very clean if, even this area here we have glossy plastic you can see the mirror it's on the body of the door so it's not right here in this area where usually it will take up a little bit of visibility from the a pillar but in general i think um, it's nice designed it up here we have like a camera you can see right here we have the sensors for light and raining and then we have another two cameras or sensors right there that help with the lane assist uh, emergency brake all that autopilot and safety features are working combination with the radar that it's in the front there we will go in the second and i will show you as well then we have turbo formatic plus on both sides we have turning signals led light uh, camera on the side for 360 degrees camera we have here blind spot technology in the mirrors relatively sm small and slick mirrors but visibility from the interior it's it's quite good we have the handles the same kind of the same design on the handles with chrome on the upper side half half and then we have here but in general the quality it's it's gorgeous i tell you the quality of the doors and the sound it's 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 a mercedes i mean when you hear this sound you know it's a mercedes you know if you have your eyes closed and you close the door you know it's a mercedes i like the way they design the logo it's kind of a goldish dark color chrome i don't know how to call it a45s we have amg we have led lights here on the number plate camera reverse camera will come out from here from this area and then look at the lights i love the design of the lights in the the tail lights and also the front headlamps they are very nice and very nice designed and i like them much much more than the previous version and keep in mind that those will come standard on all version i mean the tail lights and they look really good so no matter if you buy a more affordable version you will get those beautiful beautiful tail lights and they are full led lights you will not find any halogen light on this car so yeah it's this is a great thing and as expected at this price you can expect less those are the fog lamps so you can see also LED, the reverse light LED, turning signals LED, and also the tail lights in the nighttime look really spectacular and really nice. Down here on the bumper, we have six parking sensors. Also, we have designed here kind of nice element. Then we have two exhaust pipes here with AMG logo on them. And if you look closer inside there, you will see that they are not proper to real. It's kind of one in the middle that stays kind of like that but the design is really nice down here the bumper look great and also it's kind of it kind of have an air diffuser but it's kind of a fake air diffuser it's more like for design because here in the middle we have the hook guys so they try to make it not only good looking and sporty but also practical because you have a hook that you can pull uh, some trailers or some caravans with it on the on the right side the same story the same exhaust pipes and the same design but it looks really good some light reflector here here we have the tank you can open it very simple also on the tank door look at this the quality it's so smooth it's so nice in comparison with other cars so for this is what you pay guys this kind of stuff if you have the money this kind of stuff it's why you pay a little bit more because everything in this car every single detail has a better quality on it so it will last also longer here's the tank by the way it's good that it's on the driver's side look at the hood the same hood kind of the same design as on almost all amg then you have this beautiful beautiful logo amg here in the front I love that. This is this is super special. And then we have big Mercedes logo. Behind this logo is the radar for adaptive cruise control, emergency brake and all that safety features. Then we have a camera, front camera. So we have 360 degrees camera. I will show you when we go inside. Air intakes, huge air intakes. And we have this grill, front grill that they use it on all AMG cars with the AMG badge on the other side. Beautiful. Six parking sensors on the front as well air intakes down here huge air intakes you can see the radiator there but something that i want to point out it's that here it's a real air intake the air will go here and then it will go outside on this area you can see there but but on the other side 
even though we have the same design, you can see it's kind of blocked here, so we don't have any air intakes. I'm not sure the reason for that. On the left side it is, on the right side it's not. Probably they can do it on the right side because we have other elements there. I'm not sure about that. If you know about that, write me in the comments. I'm really curious to find out why, was, why, why is this reason they designed it like that. Uh, on the previous version, if I'm not wrong, was the same story. Then down here, we have another air intakes on the downside and a very nice design down uh, on the bumper. So really cool, really cool car. Expensive, but really cool. Now, in terms of headlamps, we have new revised um, adaptive LED lights. And you can see right here, it says multi-beam LED lights. But I know those are kind of matrix LED lights. They are super, super good in the nighttime. You can see also a nice blue element there, Mercedes-Benz. We have everything, it's LED light, the turning signals, the high beam, the low beam. It's gorgeous. This, those are adaptive LED lights. So they are a big improvement from the previous version. So in terms of lights, you can make a difference uh, from the top of the top of the lights that Mercedes bring it on the market, you will have it also here. So this is the latest this technology from Mercedes. And yeah, it looks quite good. The car stay also pretty low. Let me go on the other side because it's more sun, more light. You can see a little bit better. The ground clearance, it's quite low. Like I said, 9.7 centimeters is the ground clearance of the car. So it stays pretty low and it's, it's really, really spectacular on the road. I mean, the handlings, it's it's crazy the car it's incredible nice also down here the car come with a skirt an extra skirt that it's extended a little bit outside it looks good and also it's made in plastic so you don't have to worry if you scratch it you can change it and also in the front here now here i will definitely i think this is not an aluminium i'm not sure if it's aluminium or not but keep in mind you you probably have want to protect this if you buy the car put some paint protection film until here like that so you have to protect this area from rust in time i will just recommend you that in terms of rims gorgeous rims i mean you pay 2000 francs extra for them but they look really nice i mean this matte black look really cool i really like it much more than the glossy one we have the amg brake calipers in red we have cross drill it and ventilated brake this on the rear they look crazy but nice and in the front we have check this out amg red brake calipers with four pistons cross drill it and ventilated brake discs incredible i mean oh boy in terms of brakes you can break uh, an entire truck with those brakes it's crazy it's more than this car need in terms of brake it's more for the looking than for the needing i should say anyway you can hear right now the engine but i wanna i wanna show you also the engine sound because i'm sure you want to find out that let me go in sport plus you can see immediately when you go in sport plus you hear that brrr. you can do it also from here the exhaust pipes you can change it to to sound more spectacular and then if you yeah let me close this um turning signals They sound so nice. They are, they are, the, the sound is still phenomenal. I didn't expect that. Oh my God, Mercedes, they still keep that, that gorgeous, gorgeous sound. Let me try it again, guys. Ah, I have to leave the microphone out. Let me take the microphone out. I wanna leave the sound here on the camera. You still see it, right? A little bit higher, just like that. All right, take this out, guys. All right, that's enough. Really cool, really, really cool. I like the fact that they still keep that, that proper sound 
even though these days with those emission and stuff like that it's a it's a crazy discussion and i want to go back to chill mode comfort mode with this crazy discussion let me let me actually close the engine as well and let me open the hood from down here i want to show you the engine guys with this discussion with emission and stuff like that they try to to minimize the sound but i love the fact that on this a45 smg they still keep that incredible sound now where is that uh, it's right here in the middle or not yes right that's right here it's just like that automatic lift gate in the front of course what i i'm curious to find out if it's, this is aluminium <laughs> i'm not sure about that but it feels quite light even though we have an automatic lift gate look at the engine look how nice it is it looks cool the array here the way it looks it's gorgeous two liter four cylinders in line 421 horsepower Ooh, a beast a beast here we have the fuse box the battery look at this guys here it says crafted by mert imergan really every time they make an amg a proper amg car they have the name of the hand crafter of the engine so it's really really cool i like that you can see these, those are for four pistons really nice design really nice array here here's the liquid for the wipers we have also a bar here stabilizer extra bar there so for for the handlings and you can see between the bars and amg logo there crazy wow i love the way it looks really and you can see it's no more space here everything is in the perfect place it's no more space between the stuff here because there are so more so much stuff going on around here that they can't have any space free and because they designed the front end of the car so small if you see from this angle the front end of the car it's relatively small you know they don't have too much space for the engine and i think the engineers that design this car that they work on the engineers that they work on the engine they try so hard to fit in the engine and all that crazy part for a sporty car in in such a small space in order to improve the aerodynamic so that's super impressive that's something that that really deserve a, a plus you know i mean for the car this is just incredible so great job guys i mean to be able to integrate there the engine it's it's crazy we have an automatic lift gate in the trunk right here we have the handles and some hooks in the handles and we have this button for the hook so all you have to do i guess is just hold it a few seconds and then the hook will come out just like that and then from here you have to pull it out just like this and this is the hook simple if you want to put it down back you just pull it here and then it should release and then you have to push it it's super simple everybody can do that so this is the trunk entrance relatively big in comparison with the a class for a few years ago the entrance is relatively big so you can fit in big items without any problem so the design is nice it comes also with this protection here that we will take it out in a second so you can see how it looks it's not a flat floor but it's, it's quite nice yeah let me take out this protection and let me show you how it looks without it all right great i just take out that protection you can check out one more time the entrance but i tell you the entrance it's bigger enough to fit in whatever stuff you have so no complaining here like it was a few years ago then we have some plastic at the entrance and we don't have a flat floor that's something to keep in mind you have like maybe i should say like 10 to 50 centimeters here deepness but it's great because it's big you can fit in a lot of items i should say if you have a kid if you are two person with the kids it's no problem you can fit in here your baggage to go in holiday without any problem then we have some storage space i should say some space here we have a light a bulb light here some hooks some hooks in the corners also another hook here and then on the right side here again some small space then you have here a speaker on the c pillar a speaker on the other side and under the floor you have like uh, some storage space here even though you have repair kit the medical kit and all other stuff 
uh, it's a small space but it's relatively fine and then here you have also the triangle now the good part is that if you want to fold down the seats you can fold down the middle part just like that and then you can carry long items like skis or whatever you want to carry and in the same time have two passengers on the left and right side and this is fabulous i love that really really nice then if you want to fold it completely all you have to do is just press this one and then push it forward and then here the same story but i have to adjust the front seats before i do that because the front seats are a little bit too back and you can do it from here from the door electrically it's just like that now it's good and then let me go on the other side i just have to adjust them because i uh, I made a video before and here you have also electric adjustable seats in the front uh, on the passenger the same story so the quality it's everywhere they don't make difference between driver and passenger so really good quality now here you can still press it a little bit lower so let me show you a realistic look of the trunk with the seats folding down so you can see from this angle the way it looks it's more than enough i mean the practicality it's, it's also here, it's really good for the size of the car. I mean, you have plenty of space to fit a lot of items here uh, with no problem. So yeah, this is it. This is the trunk, this is the space. And I wanna show you also from the side, if you open the door here, I like the fact that they have the windows on the door. So in this way, when you open the doors, you have a huge entrance. You see no window here. So this part here is smaller. That mean bigger entrance in the car and also mean uh, better visibility you will see when we go inside the car. Now, look at the entrance, big entrance, and you can see one more time the space from here. So guys, the practicality, it's very good. It's not only a sporty, nice, good looking car. Um, and it's also practical, a very practical hatchback for the size and on the legs room you still have some space left even though the transmission tunnel is quite big uh, you still have some storage space there um, to use anyway this is the space now let me put everything back and we will go inside the car all right great now let's go forward on the doors before we go inside and here as i showed you before we have two windows here one is fixed and one can be fold down and uh, I want to show you how much you can fold it down, but I have to put the contact first. So let me put this contact on and then I can show you how much you can fold it down. This one it stays fast, fixed, but this one you can fold it down. The great part is that because you have two windows here, you have a gorgeous, gorgeous visibility uh, outside. So this is it. And also the, the buttons feel super good quality. I like the quality on the BMWs. The the, the the feeling and the um the material quality it's just gorgeous now in terms of quality of the doors on the upper side we have leather everywhere you can see also the stitches here leather here very good quality and soft also here again some stitches some chrome design a small speaker a big speaker here and you can see the the chrome design you can have uh here you have some story space relatively big and practical you have also a little bit behind there so the practicality and the quality of the doors is just gorgeous big entrance right here in the door you can see also inside the way it looks from this angle you can see also the glass roof that comes kind of uh, optional on the car and you can see also the uh, space here in the seats we have some gorgeous seats to tell you the true some leather phenomenal seats i mean in terms of quality they are gorgeous also something cool for the seat belt you can take your seat belt and put it right here when you fold down the seats so in this way you don't have to worry always to hold the seat belt so you can put it like that that's something to keep in mind i think you can see it right now so this is also again something cool then as i said phenomenal quality on the seats um, we have here the headrest directly designed with the seats like in a sporty car but we have nice um, stitches here we have soft design and also here side support lovely i mean this leather feel like it will last forever <laughs> then we have isofix for child you can install two child seats here without any problem also in the middle you have a big space here and quite flat so you can have a third person here and you have also the seat belt for a third person so they think about also a third person here in the middle we have also 
an armrest completely in leather very good quality and here you can open those cup holders just like that super simple very good quality behind the front seat you have some plastic here some storage space and once i'm going inside the car i go inside very easy you can see that here in the middle you have a big transmission tunnel i mean this is one this one is really big i would have also some kind of big transmission tunnel in the middle but we have an usb-c very useful down here and we have those vents that feels fabulous those are my favorite vents the turbine vents i think they should keep it forever because they are fabulous and also they feel super good quality if i close the door and i adjust by the way the seats in the front it's in my driving position i'm 173 centimeters and look at the space i still have enough space for my knees and also i can stretch my legs a little bit in the front more than enough space but but it's like in electric cars you know electric cars usually have your knees a little bit higher this one the same story so i have like four three four fingers under my knees so the knees stay a little bit higher but that's not a problem for me at least it feels quite nice it feels quite comfortable over the head i have like five fingers right here so it's more than enough the visibility is fabulous because they extend the window here you have an amazing amazing visibility as the passenger in the back so nothing to say i mean i like what i what i have in the back here also super high quality here on the armrest here it's great i like it here you have also a nice led light you can see it right here it looks gorgeous and also you have here a hook small hook and the quality of the roof it's very good i should say maybe eight from ten something like that but very good you can see also the glass roof from this angle then if we go in the middle once you go over this uh, center console you will go in the middle you will notice that here it's a little bit stiffer than on the side and also on the back it's a little bit stiffer because of this armrest but over the head we have like four fingers and on my knees i have like more than enough space and also here on the passenger and you can see one more time the way they adjust the seats in the front so in terms of space even in the middle here is no problem i can stretch my hand completely here almost i should say and here almost completely but for free person here i think you can do medium trips without any problem for long trips is not so comfy but for medium trips i think is no problem i mean up to 500 kilometers you can stay here without any problem anyway now let's go in the front and you can see from here the dashboard design i mean it's lovely they make little small different changes but changes that make the car look super sportier and super modern and they bring a little bit of designs and looks from the other uh, brothers like c-class like e-class but in general it looks super modern and super nice and i love it i mean the vents the way they design it the steering wheel it's fabulous and also this multimedia system it's crazy there and i want to talk about him and i want to uh, said also something that I don't like about him but let's go in the front here we have a big window from one piece that allow you to have a gorgeous visibility in the mirror the same high quality on the upper side we have leather stitches leather here in this area down here leather everywhere the same chrome here on the handle we have a nice chrome I really like this chrome from Mercedes the way they design it's kind of a chrome scratched that looks just super super fine then we have this uh, array uh, actually adjustment for electric seats and we have free position to save the electric seats we have heated seats in the front then we have the handle to unlock the the car it's really good the quality of the handle is great we have lock and unlock button here we have the buttons for uh, electric mirrors you can adjust electric the mirrors and you can fold the mirrors as well buttons for electric uh, windows and then we have lock the windows here the storage space in the door bands it's just fabulous good really good storage space here we have the speaker with some chrome design then you have a, an led light for the nighttime it's really useful when you open the door in the nighttime 
uh, on the on not illuminated streets the entrance here relatively big as well we have the amg logo at the entrance some plate here aluminum plate with amg writing it's an led in the nighttime it looks fabulous then we have aluminum pedals super high quality on the pedals as well and then we have also a controller here for the lumbar part if i'm not wrong this is the lumbar part yeah and then look at the seats kind of the same design as in the back the same headrest together with the seats sporty seats super super special super high quality leather so this kind of leather will be i think it's it's more than you need this will last for many years you have side support here you have down here side support you can adjust this manually also forward backward just like that but the quality is very good it's a little bit stiffer like in sporty car but really really good quality then here you have soft material guys from here up soft nice rubber with a nice design some glossy plastic electronic handbrake controllers for the lights are here fog lamps and also the brightness of the screen here then up here you have those fabulous turbine vents that i really like them and also you have an led inserted there but they feel so good i mean so smooth i think those are one of the most the best quality vents on the market these days i mean i love them and then you have also soft leather here in this area you have the stitches but very very good quality leather the quality material in the car it's crazy i love the quality now let me go inside hear this out when you close the door the sound it's unique i love it visibility around the windows super good in the mirrors as well very good visibility also look at this great great visibility around the windows also a little bit of blind spot in the corners on the c pillar but it's fine then you can see the seats one more time in the back and then here in the middle you have an armrest also on the armrest you have leather here and soft material what they change on the car is the fact that this center console it's made by recycled materials and some part of the dashboard i'm not sure which part but keep in mind that they kind of use recycled materials for those kind of stuff the other than than this part down here where it's a little bit cheaper plastic and down here other than that everything feel crazy good quality now here you open those up plenty of storage space and you have also extra two usb ports down there super useful then we have some glossy plastic in the center console you can also close this up if you want to just like that very simple uh, in the center console and here we have a space for your for your uh, key or whatever you want to put what i notice is that if you have a bigger phone like i do and it's not that big you don't have too much space here to put it you see it doesn't come in this place so you have you need a smaller one or probably you have to put some keys or cards or whatever you want to put you can leave them here just like that then here you have dynamic button let me show you let me start the car here's the start engine button and also a uh, start and stop engine start the engine oh it, it sounds so nice and this new uh, cockpit look fabulous you can see you have ambient light also in the doors here and ambient light also here on the vents and also on the on the dashboard here in the back behind the the, the screen there and then you have also an ambient light down there i don't know if you can see it down here in this area it's just fabulous the way it looks and also you have this amg writing here with those lines Oh, so cool and then the fans and then we have also this burnmeister speaker on the a pillar that looks just crazy on the boat part so the sound system it's also really really good burnmeister make fabulous sound uh, systems and then you have another speaker there and you have also this crazy good head-up display the head-up display it's incredible i don't know how can i show you many things there um, but it's really good let, let me see if i can go into menu home and let me go into menu here you can see those are all the options of the head-up display you can turn it off and on and from here you can change what you like to see but it's really really good it's really it's so clear it's so bright even though outside today it's super sunny you have you, you can see it so so well i mean i'm super impressed and i love the way it looks and you have also the race view and you have also this super sport view it's super nice and also you have the standard view 
but I, I really like the head-up display, the way it's arrayed directly on the windshield and the way it looks is just perfect. That's something that I just want to point out. Then you have a manual adjustable steering wheel. You have to adjust it manually, but the quality and the easiness of it, it's super, super impressive. Then we have Alcantara steering wheel everywhere. So the actually it's not everywhere. It's only on the side from here to here. And down here we have normal leather. And then only from here to here we have Alcantara. And on the upper side we have normal leather. So very good quality AMG um, logo here on this aluminum plate. Then we have here the exhaust. You hear it? It's, it sounds so nice. Then you have the gear shifter. You can put it in manual or in drive dynamic are yeah, actually uh, automatic so you can choose from here and then you have different driving modes of course individual you have also uh, like snow mode and then you have also sport sport plus and race mode so really cool really cool stuff very easy to change from the steering wheel i, I really like the steering wheel it's one of my favorite steering wheel on the market and look at it from here what kind of good quality you have uh, visibility you have from here on those uh, digital screens it's gorgeous visibility and then we have metal this is metal the pedals are made from metal no plastic so when you change the gears it's gorgeous when you play in manual mode so ooh, love it you have a dynamic button here once you press this dynamic button uh, it will allow you to choose the dynamic mode so you can see it will get you directly here in this um, in this menu so it's kind of a shortcut for this uh, menu of the sport uh, changing uh, different items but down here what the, it's kind of disappointing for me at least is the fact that here they didn't bring any more this controller you know the controller for the navigation system for the multimedia system and now in order to change different items on the screen on the multimedia system you have to reach out here on this screen you know and while you're driving the car it's a little bit complicated to reach out here and go into the menu and scroll and then go to car settings for example and go to lights and change different things here and this is a little bit complicated and i wish although to hold this controller in the middle but this is just my opinion and this is something that i wish it was different then here two cup holders we have also um this button here to hold it just like that and you can put it back then you have a USB-C you have a 12 volt port there and you have a space again for your phone to charge it wireless and here it's a much bigger space other than that glossy plastic the controls for the climatic systems are here physical button I love the fact that they keep those physical button in this way it's much more easier to change different um, different settings on the climatic system and uh, it's great that they keep that at least I mean if they didn't have the controller for the multimedia uh, at least we have this for climatic system physical button so you can turn on and off really fast the climatic system then a little bit higher we have the button start stop engine button and also start uh, engine and then we have those beautiful vents I love them the way they design it here in the middle look gorgeous and then we have the glow box really big glow box and you have a light a yellow light there but it's big you can fit in uh, relatively big items there and then again up here you have an led light as well so you can see led up led down and also on the doors high quality materials everywhere love it then up here a big mirror i like so much this mirror for mercedes it's so so big and so nice and you have such a good visibility in the back and also it has tiny edges and it looks really really good up here we still have this diamond crystal looking lights form of five star hotel that looks in a big big way it's like the top of the top what you can get on the car and then you have the controller here you can close this curtain so if you don't want this sun to come in your head like now you can close this like that but also of course you can open it and also the quality of the button the quality of it it feels really really good so it has kind of no match for the quality it's really good and you can open this glass roof to allow some air to go inside the car so i like it really cool this is this is really nice this is a great feature to have it on the car now um, here we have also an LED light 
we have a mirror and we have a microphone up here but other than that it's it's relatively um, the same then on the steering wheel you can see we have those controllers but actually let me close that from the sun we have those controllers right here on the steering wheel for autopilot adaptive cruise control and all that safety uh, settings and then you have the controllers for the screen and here you have the controller for the multimedia system you can actually control it from here you can get used with it you don't have any more this controller here but if you can get used with this controller on the steering wheel i think you will be just fine but also it needs a little bit of skills in order to do that so it's not so easy for everybody but once you get used with it you can use also this one here and uh, once you play with your button you have to kind of feel every time you do but you can you can actually do it from here you can actually change the settings from here from the steering wheel uh, without any problem so you have an option it's not like you don't have any option you can also control the multimedia from here uh, if you don't want to stretch out while you're driving there to the screen and here you have the voice and controllers for the volume voice command and telephone so pretty simple other than that really everything it's in the perfect place here so going forward the gear shifter is here as you probably know on the automatic transmission from mercedes this is parking drive and reverse you go up one one once you go in reverse i want to show you if you go here and you press this button you can see that the car come with this gorgeous 360 degrees system that they kind of borrow from the bigger brothers so you can see right now it shows you like a very beautiful three-dimensional view around the car so it's crazy while you're driving you can see your car from from this view and you can see a view from the upper side it's crazy it's it's the best 360 degrees on the market today this is my opinion and of course you can go in different views from the side here you can see the back you can see the side you can see the other side you can put it on auto you can see also the hook view if you want to but um, it's gorgeous the camera it's really really good that's something that you should keep in mind um, I, I really like this 360 degrees I think you can go wrong uh, when you park the car you can park it very easy anyway now let's go to the cockpit i want to finish with the cockpit and then we'll go to the multimedia system so the cockpit you can customize it the way you want it the same as you customize the head-up display from up here you can customize also the the cockpit and you have so many views you have like the trek piece and you see so many information on the left and right side we have the g-force you have on the right side the speed and acceleration pedal brake pedal percents and so many information that i think mercedes have the most complex cockpit on the market these days and it's just impressive and you can change it for example super sport mode so you can see it like that of course we have uh, when you are in super sport you can change also what you would like to see in the middle there so you can see you can extra customize this mode so you can see you can have also the navigation in this mode view so it's super complex i mean in terms of customization it's it's the most customizable uh, cockpit on the market and if you go in track piece even here you can change different views um, and it's 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 impressive really let me go in sport mode you have also this sport mode when you see also information on the left and right side so this is also quite quite impressive i want to open the door for a while because it's super hot inside here now once you go let me go forward okay once you go here you can also go forward to the classic view if you don't like that you can have the classic view and here you can change and see the consumption and different information also on the screen there in the front or you can go even further to understate here and you have also the navigation if you want to have navigation all over the screen you can have that so from my point of view the best cockpit on the market it's in mercedes today this is my opinion it's just incredible incredible good and yeah i don't know I, I really really like it so going forward now i'm done with the cockpit let's go to the to the multimedia system here in the middle and here on the multimedia system uh, i will try to use the touch screen 
the touch screen the screen is not super big and it's a little bit farther away from the driver so you have to stretch out a little bit to it but here it has kind of the same same uh, multimedia system as mercedes use it on other cars the navigation system is the same it's the same good navigation system as mercedes use it also on other cars and you can see right here it's crazy crazy responsive you can go into uh, different areas let me show you for example if you go to airport just like that and you can see how nice and how fast it's work it's just like that and it shows you also let's don't forget that it shows you also the map the the camera and it shows you where you should go left and right that's an extra help uh, it has mercedes before this feature but it still keep it on this uh, version of the facelift of the A-Class. Then you have media, application, you already know it, the comfort, you already know it from my previous video, you have the seats, you have the ambient lights and brightness, you can change it from here. You have like the performance, this is special for the AMG, where you see so many information and the, uh, the, the time, you have the engine, so... how cool is that view i love this view then you have the vehicle here it will show you the car what happened to the car and then we have also the track race uh warning and stuff like that you have to use it on the closed road not going to use it right now but keep, keep in mind you have it here and then of course we have the, the setting where you have all the settings of the car like uh, all the safety features that the car come with and it comes with the latest this um, safety features that you can get uh, assistant features and camera and parking and vehicle settings like driving like comfort all that settings you will find it here the lights settings the system settings you have language you have hey mercedes you can also use that you have keyboard writing controllers audio settings every settings that uh, the car come with you will find it around here and the car come with almost the latest settings that um, you can get on the market today so yeah it's it's really really complex it's a complex system and the last one is the smartphone you can integrate your apple carplay um, and also android with the uh, car without any problem so that's something to keep in mind so really cool so guys i think that was everything i hope i cover everything i hope you get some um, useful information from this video that was the video i hope you get some useful information from the video if you still have question ask me down below wherever you want to ask if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out tehash willy i will leave the link in the description if you want to see the car test drive the car buy the car check them out guys also my rating for this new mercedes a class facelift 2023 actually this a45 smg from 1 to 10 will be 9.8 because the price it's so big but if we don't take into consideration the price probably will be 9.9 but anyway fabulous car if you have the money this is one of the top uh, cars that you can get in this class with this sporty performance and quality anyway that was the video i hope you enjoyed don't forget to like share subscribe i will really appreciate that so thank you very much to all of you that are watching my videos i really appreciate it. guys if you find it useful don't forget to like it share subscribe and i guess i see you soon in the next one bye guys